Hey guys, we're gonna look at the fig trees today and we're gonna look and see what the frost this past weekend did to them. If there's any damage, um, mostly there's no damage that I could see. It's really when there is a really low temperature, a hard frost that comes in, it does the most damage. Um, you can see though that the leaves look really sad. And this is because the trees in this location haven't really naturally drop their leaves. Um, you can see they really took a hit. Um, whereas I have other trees that I'll show you guys, maybe on the patio, they have kind of naturally dropped their leaves. And then the frost came in and if there was any leaves like hanging on these trees that were left, you can see this one here is a good example or even this one, the frost came in and knocked those off. And they were done but there's some like I said that are just kind of a little late to the party to drop their leaves and uh, as a result we're gonna have to wait for another frost to come in and kind of really set these guys into a state of dormancy so that's why I'm waiting to prune my trees because when you prune these guys like this and they still have all these leaves on them you can bet that they're they're not dormant yet. You know, let me take off one of these leaves. Look at the sap, you know. So there is some sap flow still in these trees and a lot of them. And that's why we're going to wait. You know, we did prune a lot of these guys here. Uh, but that was for other reasons, either for root pruning to balance the tree out. Or if I thought the graph was going to break <laughs> and we had lots of wind that came in here this past weekend. So yeah, I mean, that's what I'm looking at. And that's kind of explaining to you why I'm waiting to one, prune my trees, and then two, waiting to store them away for good. And a lot of you guys ask me, when should I put them away? You know, when do I prune my trees? Well, this is really the answer. This is why, you know, I can't, I could just tell you the answer and say, hey, you know, wait till Thanksgiving or wait till this day or wait till this, you know, but if you don't know why, you're just going to be asking me the same question again next year. So that's exactly why. Now I want to see if there's any damage on any of these trees because we do have a lot of green growth on some of them. You can see here, but you know, I want to take a really close look at them and see if any of the really green stuff is damaged in any way. Um, I don't think the temperatures were cold enough, to be honest with you, to make a difference, to really damage these, uh, these limbs here. But if this limb here doesn't fully lignify in time, which it's likely that it won't, this tree will not do well this winter time. Um, you know, this branch probably will, but the the branches over here that are just not lignified at a certain temperature and I kind of want to figure out what that temperature is this wood will take damage it'll just not be good for the tree um, so I think we're okay you know we only got down to about 27 which isn't that bad you know the figs will come in in storage for good when temperatures get to 20 degrees Fahrenheit anything lower and you're really getting quite risky here and you need to put your container trees inside somewhere you know this growth here is quite green but I'm not seeing any signs of damage so I think um, I think that's pretty good you know this is a really good sign and, and you know it just shows the the power of some of these fig trees guys and what they can handle so anyway guys, that was kind of this video and just a little update on winterization, where I'm at in my season. It is November 13th, I believe, or November 14th, one of the two. And uh, this is what my trees look like and this is what they look like right after a frost. So you all know what to expect next year and hopefully I won't have uh, as many of you guys confused and wondering what is going to happen. 
Oh, if any of you guys, I want to say before I uh, let you guys go, if any of you have your trees indoors with the leaves still on, just know that there is a lot of humidity. I want to show you the greenhouse really quickly. The trees, when they have leaves on them, guys, it gives off humidity. That's how a tree works. It sucks up water from the roots and releases it through the leaves. So if you have them in your house, be careful of mold. Be careful of excess humidity. Just look how humid it is. You can see there's water on these panels. That's on the inside of the greenhouse. So it's very important that um, when you're storing them, if they do have leaves on them, make sure there's some kind of circulating air somewhere that that moisture can go otherwise you're probably going to have some problems so anyway that's what i want to leave you with you guys 27 degrees outside in here not a single one of them is showing any kind of damage so that's pretty cool as well anyway everyone i'll talk to you all soon take care